Fall is in and summer is on the way out, but could spotter and lantern flies be here to stay? Royce Jones went to an expert to find out. Royce, this town ain't big enough for all of them and all of us. Oh, Ken, and this is the question everybody wants answered. So the bad news is the spotted lantern flies could remain in the area for a little while longer. In fact, sorry, but they'll probably start laying eggs pretty soon. The good news is they're not known to try and enter your homes in the cold months. That's the good news. And there are some proactive steps that you can take for whenever the warmer weather returns. This summer, residents of southwestern PA have been swamped with swatting, stomping, and squashing swarms of spotted lanternflies, which seem to have an acquired taste for grapes, apples, and hops, and for the average homeowner, maple trees. It doesn't seem that they kill the tree, but they stress the tree. So it looks like the tree will recover. You don't need to cut it down. Um, it'll, you know, it'll... It'll recover unless something else hits it hard. But IUP biologist Dr. Ellen Yerger tells KDKA there have been some positive breakthroughs about the bug. People have seen birds eating them, so that's a good sign. Um, so once, you know, once the birds learn about this new food source and that's abundant, then hopefully those birds will get right on it and take care of it. The cold weather is another predator of these pests. Experts say spotted lanternflies tend to die with the first frost, but their egg masses, often situated on trees, rust-covered car tires, and undercarriages, however, survive. Once they start laying eggs, which is going to be pretty soon, um, you can start you know, finding the egg masses and scraping them off and, and disposing of them. How you would kill them is you could put them into a little cup of soapy water. You can also vacuum the adult lantern flies, purchase or make circle traps too. And while they're unsure why, researchers also say once the spotted lantern flies have lived in an area for a few years, they eventually disappear. Meanwhile, if you do have spotted lantern flies on your property, how about a St. Vincent College researcher is collecting them to perform further research? Hey, by the way, if you want to learn how to make those circle traps that we talked about, just look for this story on KDK.com after the show. Ken. All right, thanks, Royce.